Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard. Welcome back to Minecraft. Today we're going to go fight a Wither Boss, and I will tell you why in a minute. And we're also going to look at uh, the few kind of minor changes I've been doing around the place since last episode. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, as you can see, we're down here in the basement where all the slime spawning floors are. And behind me is a little bit different than last time I cleaned it up. I made us, whoop, hey, oh. Never mind. We gotta run up so we can watch this guy burn. Come on. There we go. Now I've got it on tape. Ha! <laughs> Every once in a while when I've been working down here, I'll hear them. Anyway, like I was saying, I cleaned this entrance up. The hole used to be kind of right up here against this uh, corner. So I moved it over to line up with the door. It has a little bit of a width issue where the pattern I'm using for this wall it makes for a nice three block hole, but it's four blocks for this doorway since it's a double door. So I just moved it over one. I think it looks all right. And it still just goes here into the machine room. I still need to fix that. It's on the list. I just don't know exactly what I need to do to fix it. So I've been putting it off because I'm having fun doing other things. All right, other minor things. I was low on stone, so I carved out a bunch of my uh, strip mine up here to get materials. And I added a rail because that way it's starting to get pretty far down the tunnel. So I added just a rail, send me down, and then I have to manually make myself come back. But it works out to get there faster than just running. I like it. Like I said, bunches of minor changes I've done since last time. Let's get some fish. All right, to the laggy outdoors. Last time, we had a few comments on the video, and uh, Joette's made a comment, whoops, about the fountain that I should uh, add some stuff to it. So I messed around a little bit, did something a little bit different than what he suggested. So I think you wanted to cobble walls there, but I think it looks cooler. It makes it a little fancier and the glass almost makes it a little more fantasy like than if it was just straight stone. And then all through the center is just cobblestone walls until you see the glowstone, which is why we're going with the boss hunting. We want a beacon to put right there. And as you can see in the floor here, I've already got <laughs> partially hidden, but you can see the four corners I've got, um, gold blocks and a few iron blocks in the bottom as well. I built the pyramid under here so that we'll have a full beacon as soon as we put it on. Whoops, bumping my mouse. And I've got a piece of glass right there so we can change the color. Right now it's purple, but we can put it, you know, whatever floats our boat. Purple's good for right now. However, look at all this stuff. I've got wither stick. I've got my three wither skeleton skulls. I've got a special pair of armor or set of armor, and I've been doing some brewing. So we've got a bunch of regen potions, strength potions, potion of leaping, and potion of night vision. Now I'll tell you why I have all these things. Most of the time whenever I fought the wither boss it's been in a group, but the couple times I've done it on my, my own I've been way too cautious with it, and we're going to fight it in a little cave, so if it blows up all the torches we want to be able to see, hence night vision. And also, I want to be way more aggressive, so I want to be able to get up there, and even though the room is small, it can get up higher, so I want to have leaping so I can jump up in the air and just stab it really, really fast with the sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I made a wither skeleton, or not skeleton, wither stick sword that just has sharpness 5 on it, and I'm breaking 3 because the book that I used to put it up to sharpness 5 has a head on breaking too, so it was nice. Then we've got, whoops, empty hand, we got us a wither hat. We have a wither shirt, wither pants, and of course wither boots. So these all have protection 4 on them. 
Very nice. Let's put these on. Oh yeah, now we're ready. Let's get our skulls. Do, do, do. And I'm going to head off to the uh, chosen cave that we are going to head off kind of that direction. See the big mountain there? It's kind of on the back side of it, the far side. And I will show you when we get there. Okay guys, as you can see, the castle, fountain, town, etc. is this direction, and we are on the big mountain, part way up. And I have built a little cobble <laughs> box, basically, with a door, just to keep us safe. I've set my spawn here earlier, because I had this built before I started recording. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> so it'll be all set up, ready to go. We've got our box of potions and things, backup tools, which these are also backup tools, different than what I normally use. The only thing here is my bow that I normally use, because it's power five, and with some punch as well on it. And I don't have a better one than that, so I want to keep it just in case. I've got plenty of extra arrows, i got some extra food in case my quick fish goes away. So let's load up here a little bit. We want to take two of those. We're going to take... And we'll arrange my hotbar in a minute. And with strength, we'll rearrange you down here just because. Take a leaping and a night vision. Eight minutes, that should be fine. Minute and a half, hopefully that's fine. It's also how long the strength goes, because I went for potency rather than uh, duration. So we get a whole bunch more attack damage. So I think we're about ready to go. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need the dirt. So we're going to move you over here. Got our notch apple. The only one I had enough gold left over from doing the beacon to be able to craft. <laughs> Okay, strength. We've got one of those. We'll put you here. Night vision and chump boost will wait, but night vision lasts long enough. We can drink that right before we go. Alright, I think we're good. Grr, arg. Alright, that way goes into the rest of this cave system. I blocked it off, and we're going to put the wither here. And I know what you're thinking, it's right below where my bed and stuff is. So hey, let's just make it interesting, I say. We're gonna live dangerously. It's gonna be stupid. But we're gonna do it. Alright, let's get everything set up so we can. Let's see, regeneration is two minutes. Alright. Night vision is good. Yeah, if we need food later, we can get it. Okay, da, 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 da. are we ready to go? He's probably going to blow all those torches off the wall. See? See? This is either going to be really awesome or really, really funny for you guys. I got my wither stick. I got all my armor on. So let's go. <sighs> I don't know where you're going. Alright, you. Come on, Wither. Take it. Yeah. Well, that's what I call OP. <laughs> I'm glad that I was more prepared than less prepared. Okay, water. Let me get my. Prize. All right, we got another star. <laughs> we have way too many, um, you know, bonus things. Goodness, this water is a pain in the butt. There's just a little underground-like pond. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. So that was quicker than I thought. So <laughs> we're gonna get our super jumpy boat boost way back to town. And we're just going to do that. I might leave all the stuff up here and gather it later. This way we can, like, walk back to town together. And you guys will get to sort of see the journey. That's a little bit odd looking sky. Oh, it's because I have night vision on. That's why. Okay. Uh, let's see. This isn't the best way to get down, but 
We want to go kill these skeletons. Oh, this sleeping is so weird. <laughs> Alright. I shall ignore you. I'm used to my other sword that has the knockback. That is, that's why it's going on. All right, here we go. We got our bunnies and our sheep over here. We're kind of the future farm areas. And while we're coming in here, you can see that I have finished the roads. So they all go in here. The only thing left is a couple of bridges. One there and one over there. Then we're going to do actual bridges. Whereas here, I just did a little terraforming. Made the hill just come straight down. I need to get some more strings so I can... Uh, Fix all these trees that I built. So we're going to walk. Well, since we don't have the bridges, we'll walk back the other way. So I did a whole bunch more trees since last time. And I finished off the road. So there's curbs on all of it everywhere. Man, that tree is a big one. Especially with all this hanging down. I've got the three ones from last episode that are back by the square all finished with string and everything unless I missed one or two vines. So these now have just had time. I did them earlier today and I've been doing other stuff so these vines have gone crazy. We've got one more extra little thing here to show you that I've done here with the stables. I've kind of integrated it into its spot in the road system after I finished the roads going by. I got rid of all the sand and gravel and the pond that was here, just a little bit of water. Put a tree, and then I've put some dirt like this has been trampled by the horses and stuff. So we've got some wood in here as well. That's just kind of like some bit of plank, but then it's got dirt all over it. And I'm going to have to come back through here and do some lighting, which I'll probably do once I get some brown wool. I need to go grow some jungle trees and put up some of the... Uh, brown uh, cocoa beans that I've got I just haven't done anything with yet there's a few places I put more of these retaining wall things in I think they look neat just an extra little bit of detail and then yeah on the ends we have a different kind of path so I'll put a few more of these buckets in this time some of them with glowstone some of them with torches put in a couple more lanterns and I think that is it of the stuff that I've changed. A lot of work went into putting the road in and then putting some uh, landscaping around it, throwing some dirt just kind of integrated into the hills and stuff. That took a lot of time and planting these trees and doing them up a little bit wasn't too bad, but it took some time and then all these other little things added up. Even digging out underneath this to put all the stuff. Alright, let's see. I've got my nether star. I don't think I have anything else up here. Here's my normal armor and all my tools and stuff I normally use. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, let's go find... Since it went so quickly, I'm not going to cut away. I thought that battle, even with all of the OP potions that I had going on, <laughs> and all of my special armor, that I was going to have to... Frickin take a long time to kill that guy. All right, let's see. My obsidian is over here, right? Yes. So we need three of those. And then, oh wait, I have glass in my ender chest. Let's go up here. Da, 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 da. You can see my love interesting <laughs> uh, filing system, what have you. Some stuff is organized, some is not at this point. All right, I think I remember how to craft these. Yes, beacon! Oh! I do, however, need to get an ingot to initiate. What am I looking for? Alright, nothing. Heading on down to the basement again. I do this rather often because I'll have, like, materials that I need. Eh, we'll take a couple. I can make some shoes or something out of it if I don't 
need all those, which I probably won't. I think I just need one, unless I mess it up and want to change it. I have to decide, what should we put on the beacon? Well, it hurt. Okay. You're going to be mean to me, aren't you? I might have to cut here. Yep. This is what this stupid thing does to me. <laughs> you see it firsthand now. All right, let me uh, re-log and we'll go back upstairs. Okay, we've re-logged. Let's try it again. Yeah, there you go. That elevator gets a little crazy. Yeah, I'm thinking this night vision is uh, lagging me a little more than usual. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should have got my silk touch pick walls down there. That's okay. We'll just destroy this glowstone. I've got plenty. Here, while we're at it. Whoops. Wow. Speedy. Let's see, I think it's accent for that. Right, there we go, cleaned up. So you can see right there the glowstone. Let's get it destroyed if we can. It's still efficiency four, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Beacon! See, it works! We've got a purple beacon beam going up. Awesome. We don't have any effects yet. Oh good, the night vision finally wore off. Okay. We don't have any effects yet, so let's see if we can do that here. Let's see. Haste, speed, resistance, jump boost, strength. I want regen. About. Haste might be fun, but I'm not going to be doing a bunch of mining. Let's just put on resistance for now. Yeah, there you go. Resistance and regen. Alright. So that will be a reason for everyone to visit the town square. <laughs> it's pretty cool where the lens flare is right now. It looks like the beam is going up there. Alright, so I think this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. Just one more thing to show you guys. I have blocked out a few of the buildings here around the square. So this right here is reserved for the inn. I might push this wall back just a little bit, make it a little bit more rectangle shape and give it some room on the front. Or I might keep this as the actual edge and then have a few blocks as like a porch where, you know, you'd put some chairs outside and sit around with kind of, you know, an overhang over the top. Something, it depends on whatever the design is. I haven't decided yet, but this is going to be sort of a tavern inn. It's going to be a bigger building, going to have several bedrooms and stuff in it. That little notch out the back is where I'm going to put sort of the kitchen area, and then you're going to have like a bar uh, that'll be in front of it, and then sort of dining and seating, etc. out here as well. Probably try and work a fireplace in, because that's always cool for your taverns. And then let's go to this side. We have right here off the edge of the square is the potion shop with many entrances. <laughs> so you can come at it whichever direction that you want. And I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of chests in here where I get to keep potion ingredients. And then we'll just have a big table or counter with some brew stands on it. Nothing fancy, just bare bones. We could always dig a basement for it and put a potion machine or something in the future if we wanted to. This is a tiny enchant shop. I should call it a shack or something because it's literally just going to be the enchant tables, room for like an ender chest in the corner, and maybe a chest where I can put books and things in. And that's about it. Just a simple small little building going to go here. This is going to be the clay shop at this point. I wasn't sure what else to put in here. I might change it. Ooh, actually, maybe I could put like an armorer in here or, uh, yeah, I guess that's how you say it, where he would build armor and things. Although that's kind of what this is, is the blacksmith. But maybe we could have the blacksmith here is more like he does all the tools like swords and stuff. And then this guy over here 
does all the armor and maybe we could connect them together or keep them separate and this guy does horseshoes for all the horses over here which is why I kind of wanted the blacksmith in this area in the first place yeah maybe that's a better idea so clay shop might have to go somewhere else <laughs> I also have plans that see the mountain there and if you go just past the forest and you see just those trees up there where the ice tray is there is a cool little plateau right below where the ice tray is that I want to build an arena maybe in the future. So I thought there was the arena that needs to be close to where all the ice is so that all the injuries and pulled muscles and stuff, you have ice for it, right? Sure, why not? Plus it has a, means there's a destination out of town that we can go to. All these plans and nothing built yet. I have roads though, see? Roads. <laughs> Okay, I think that is everything to this point. I still have all these places marked out. I just don't have borders like these buildings. I just thought it might be cool to reserve some stuff. And this way we have room to put kind of a little back alley stuff where maybe they put a few barrels or something back here. Random junk. Who knows? Or this is where all of the shady deals go on. Hey, meet me behind the blacksmith shop. <laughs> So, I think this place is really starting to take shape since I've put a few of these lanterns and things around here and spruced this up. You can kind of get an idea for the feel I'm going for. So we're going to have a little bit of pathways to each of the buildings and put some bushes, of course. And I've put all, I think, at least at this point, all the big major trees that I want out here. Except maybe I'll put one on a hill over here, depending on where the cathedral is going to go. So... Awesome. This guy was a little bit of a weird episode for you guys, maybe, but hopefully next time we'll get back to and do some more building. That'll be fun. Maybe we'll tackle one of these uh, town square buildings and get kind of the center of town worked out and then maybe branch our way outwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed our extremely quick wither fight today, and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.